Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lugnos Monster. Today we have some super exciting Star Wars Z Black Series news to get into, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Real quick though, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down, hit the like button, subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot, and it keeps you guys up to date with all things Star Wars The Black Series. Anyway, jumping into the first piece of news. First up, it looks like the brand new, like, Balin Shin Starkiller Wave is starting to hit Walmart stores. This is pretty exciting. This is still a 2024 wave. It's not really supposed to release until early next year, so we're seeing it a little bit early in Walmarts. Now, I still consider this wave a 2024 wave, but it is really nice to see this wave show up a little bit early. If you don't have it yet, you don't have it on pre-order, consider going and checking out your Walmart, because you got, might get pretty lucky, but uh, pretty cool to see these figures hitting stores so soon. And even though that these figures are just now hitting stores, there is actually a running change in both the Balin and the Shin figures. Here is a post from Yakface actually showing off the running change. And it looks like the running change is from now on, all the Balin and Shin figures will have the orange lightsabers rather than the red lightsabers. This is pretty interesting. This is a great change. I know a lot of people were upset with the red sabers not being orangish enough, so it looks like Hasbro went out of their way and corrected that, making these blades orange. Now, again, there's still a bunch of problems with this. The figures are the same height. The faces are still a little weird. And, of course, uh, Balin still has the super, super long bit big saber too and so no these figures aren't perfect but it's really nice to see hasbro is paying attention to the uh the fans and the outcry about this problem and they're going and doing something to fix it now obviously there's a lot more they could do to fix but like i said it's really nice seeing them do something and put in some effort to try and fix the problem Next up, it actually does look like GameStop is having a really big sale on a lot of their Black Series holiday figures. Here are a few. We have the Ewok, C-3PO, as well as the Scout Trooper. All these are some pretty insane deals, so if you did miss out on any of these holiday figures or you're still looking to pick them up, go check out your GameStop and check online because they are some crazy deals. And uh, yeah, we probably won't see crazy deals like this until next Christmas, so if you are interested, go check out GameStop. Now this one is a little bit of a shorter news video today, but to go ahead and wrap it up, we actually have two new AliExpress figures. These are quite interesting. First up is Clone Trooper Denial, also known as uh, Cad Bane, I guess, as well, because uh, Cad Bane ended up killing Denial and wearing his armor to infiltrate one of the Venators in the Clone Wars. So this is pretty cool. They gave us the Cad Bane version of Denial, which I think is awesome. He does have the Cad Bane head sculpt underneath. I don't know if this is a reuse of the Hasbro version or if this is brand new, but it looks pretty new to me, and the, the paint is obviously a lot different as well, but yeah, this thing looks incredible. It even does have the, like, red uh, Binox as well that Denial had, so really cool to see that in this figure. A lot of detail went into this, and uh, yeah, really happy with how this one came out. Next up is the 501st Commander. Now, these are the only two ones, two new ones for today, but they look incredible. 501st Commander is pretty interesting. He looks like to be, like, the basic 501st paint scheme. This is a, I believe, a, like, custom one from AliExpress. This is not a real character. It's not based off of anything, but he does have a blue 501st pauldron, which I think this will be great for any of you, uh, like, Bad Batch Rex fans out there that have the Bad Batch Rex figure that doesn't have the blue pauldron. This is a great way to get a blue pauldron. But uh, he also does have the 501st helmet with a rangefinder too, which was another one of these like original AliExpress molds. So looking pretty dang cool. Uh, really happy with this one as well. Probably not one I'll pick up, but it's nice to know that there are some other options out there for collectors who want more original characters like this. I, I, I like I like this a lot and. Um, it's cool to see what AliExpress is doing here. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for all the news today. I know it was a little bit of a shorter one, but I do want to try to keep you guys up to date as possible with all Black Series news, so I had to go ahead and make this video. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you want more shorter news videos like this, leave a comment down below because I'd love to know your feedback. Anyway, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next video.